On October 15th, back in 1529, Suleiman the Magnificent reluctantly began a retreat from the gates of Vienna. But there was a kind of Terminator feel, you know, I'll be back. And indeed they were going to be back in 1683, where they suffered another defeat. Now, pardon me if this is getting monotonous, but it's not my fault. I'm not the one who keeps attacking Vienna. And indeed, although Suleiman himself was never back at the gates of Vienna, he did look for other ways to attack the West, leading na to naval warfare that culminated in the disastrous Ottoman defeat in the Battle of Lepanto. You'd think he could have found something better to do with his time, but apparently this is what really mattered. And there's an instructive contrast here, because if you look at leaders in the West who were regarded as great, it's because they defended their own people from peril, not because they went after other people to extend the glorious sway of their misrule. Remember, this is an Ottoman Empire in which the printing press is effectively banned. Why? Because with the printing press come new ideas, and new ideas are forbidden. As a matter of fact, although he's known as the Magnificent abroad, Suleiman's nickname within the Ottoman terrain was the Lawgiver. Now why is that? Is it because he granted his people just laws based on their consent? Heck no. It's because he came up with a whole bunch of laws he thought they should obey. He was the Sultan. Nobody could say boo. And he imposed this rigid legal framework on the Ottoman Empire that was one of the many contributing factors to its long, slow, agonizing decline into what became by the late 19th century the sick man of Europe. Everybody pretty much wanted to knock it off, except they were afraid that when it fell to pieces, its bits would cause squabbles that would create real trouble. As indeed they have. Just look at the Middle East today. Russia's got special forces and warplanes going in Syria. There's trouble over Israel. This is all part of the fragmentation of the Ottoman Empire. So maybe, just maybe, if he really wanted to be magnificent, Suleiman could have concentrated on good government and on protecting the rights of his citizens instead of having two of his own sons and four of his own grandsons murdered while looking for one more way to stamp out the infidels. That is not my idea of magnificent. Oh, we're building a studio. Help us out. Click here or visit buildthedream.ca.